Welcome to RVN TV's press conference. I'm your host, Jim DiLorenzo. Each episode, we will meet a newsmaker, a person with a story to tell, a story to share, and in this episode, we will discuss a topic that is of great interest to me personally, and I hope you will find of great interest as well. It's a story of a great second act by someone who I've known for a long time. Andy Talley is a successful college football coach and the founder of the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. A two-time American Football Coaches Association Coach of the Year, he won the 2009 FCS National Championship with the Villanova Wildcats. He has a 258, 155, and two career record, including his 230, 137, and one record in 32 years as the head coach of the Villanova University Wildcat football team. He's the winningest coach in Villanova's over 100 season football history. He restored the program in 1984 and has brought it to greatness in the last 30 some years. He retired from coaching after the 2016 season. He had started the bone marrow drives with the football team in 1992 and launched the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation in 2010. In that period of time, over 100,000 donors have registered and over 500 donors have been matched. So I'd like to welcome Andy Talley, head coach emeritus at Villanova University, an old friend of mine, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. What was the impetus for you to start the foundation? Well, Jimmy, first of all, great to be here. So happy to be a part of what you're doing right now. Uh, the beginning was really a little rocky uh, for us when we started. Um, I had been doing bone marrow drives by myself uh, now and then when I could do them. Uh, and Krista Ross, who is the executive director of my foundation and was a racquetball partner, uh, she said, you know, your foundation or your, your program is tremendous. You need to develop a foundation. And I went, hmm, foundation. You mean like when they have a building, when they build a building? No, she goes, no, a foundation, a 5013C, uh, and take this thing as far as you can. And that was the impetus to do it. Uh, we did it and then went out and started to get more and more teams involved with us. Today we have over 120 college football teams that work with me doing bone marrow drives every spring. Now, when you say you're starting a foundation, you mentioned that you had started doing dry, registry drives in the past. What spurred you to do that? Well, that was the beginning of uh, kind of an interesting pull. I think the good Lord somewhere said, you know what, we need a guy to do this. I was driving to Villanova uh, on my way to practice at six o'clock in the morning. And I heard a show, uh, a radio show, a commentator came on and said, you know, we've got a, an oncologist here and he's gonna talk about bone marrow drives. And the, the doc said, hey, we only have a million people. This was in 1992. Uh, we only have a million people on the bone marrow donor list. Uh, it's not enough. People are dying needlessly every day. We need help. And I went, wow. Now today there's over 20 million people on the bone marrow donor list. So I said, gee, I've got 90 healthy football players. I think I can do something about this. And that was the beginning. We had our first drive, and then year two, we asked a couple of other local college teams to get involved with me, and boy, it just grew like wildfire. Now, when you, you mentioned college football mm -hmm. being an ideal group of people for this registry. What made that connection in your mind? Where was that leap of faith, if you will? Well, ironically, at the time, I just felt like college football coaches are always looking to do something in a good way in the community. What better way than to save a life? And what better way than to get their young people in their program to go out and convince other people in the campus community to do this? And so that was the impetus, the thought process, we're recruiters, as a college football coach, you have to recruit. And uh, all of the coaches have stepped up uh, and done a great job with their teams and then have gone into the campus community and helped us get more young people. Here's an interesting fact. In the process, in the last four years of learning more and more about bone marrow uh, transplantation, they have found 
that the absolute best donor is a male age 18 to 24. Wow. What better spot than a college football player being involved and then going to the campus community, encouraging more people, not only men, women, but everyone. Uh, at the age limit now is 18 to 44. That's the most ideal. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't do it if you're 50, but ideal is 18 to 44, and the best marrow where they've had the most donors is 18 to 24 male. Now, other part of that is you've got healthy young people, but is there also another component in college football that helps uh, an underserved population? Uh, I, I, I'm not mistaken, there is a, a great need for African-American donor. It's a good point that you mentioned because the um, foundation that I work with, Be The Match, which is located in <clears throat> Minneapolis, Minnesota, has now made a push to do more work in the African-American community. Their goal is 60% African-American, 40% white and other populations. Because we have a lot of uh, Caucasian donors, there are very few African-American donors, which means that when an African-American gets a blood disease like cancer, sickle cell anemia, leukemia, there aren't any donors. There just aren't any. Uh, five to 10 percent availability. So the major push now is in the African-American community. Now your background uh, over almost 50 years as a football coach, uh, several de decades as a head coach, what was the education process for you well versed in the game of football and well versed in, in college sports and athletics to all of a sudden, okay I'm learning more about bone marrow, I'm learning more about uh, uh, these diseases. How did you start learning these things and how have become an ambassador, if you will, for this program? Well, it's like anything else. The more you spend time <clears throat> around a particular segment of something, the more you continue to learn about it. And I realized that I could, I could do this. And being a recruiter as a college football coach, it was easy for me. I needed, all I needed to do was convince my fellow coaches to jump in and help me save lives. Now, there have been a number of notable cases from the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. One that I always think of is Matt Caesar, who's with the San Diego Padres. He was a great baseball player at Villanova, but he was also national champion quarterback for the Villanova Wildcats under, during your tenure. How did he get involved with the program and, and what were some of the things that you learned through that process? Well, Matt Caesar, of course, is a great athlete from Cape May, New Jersey, and extremely well known uh, in baseball and in the football world at Villanova, and of course now uh, plays for the San Diego Padres, but was on the World Series team two years ago uh, with the Chicago Cubs. And uh, Matt came to me and said, Coach, uh, I have the potential to be a donor. And I said, wow, that's great. Uh, this was during our championship run in 2009. Fifth or sixth game of the year, he goes, I said, well, Matt, would you do it? He goes, I would definitely do it. I said, well, you know, if you do that, you're probably going to miss maybe the rest of the season. And I said, what do you think about that? He goes, I'm in. I'm going to do it. Uh, so um, he did not donate during the season. Uh, he, the, the, the young woman that he donated to, was not prepared and ready yet. We went on and won the national championship. He was the most valuable player. Uh, and then he missed 10 Big East baseball games that spring, saved this little girl in Russia. And it's, it's just a great, great story, uh, wonderful story. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Is your business growing and now you need a new and bigger building? Has your organization outgrown their facility and now it's time to expand? Do your hobbies require the need for more space? If you're paying rent, but now you want the advantages of owning, the prospect of financing, construction, and on-time completion may seem out of your reach. General Steel Corporation has the answer. A pre-engineered steel building from the General will not only look great and satisfy almost any need, but you'll save time and money. Our team will help you create your building and deliver it to your location. 
We offer design services to help you present your concept to board members, bankers, or for fundraising. And the General can even help with financing. General Steel is a name you know, with quality backed by a 50-year structural warranty. Call today and find out how easy it is to have the building you want. You may even save up to $20,000 with rebates. If you need space, you need the General. Seniors want peace of mind and a free prescription discount card? Keep listening. Are you age 85 or younger? Here's an important message to you and all seniors from Final Expense Direct Insurance Services. The average funeral now costs over $7,000, and the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255. Our senior plans start as low as $1 per day and will pay up to $30,000 for funeral and other final expenses. There's no medical exam, and you'll have lifetime coverage. Plus, your rates will never increase, and your plan cannot be canceled as long as you make your premium payments. Get your free information about our senior plans. Just answer a few simple questions and get approved right over the phone. Plus, call right now and you'll receive a free prescription discount card. Call 855-223-7661. That's 855-223-7661. 855-223-7661. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call now. Thousands of people contact General Steel each month for a pre-engineered steel building. Business owners who need office, retail, manufacturing or storage facilities. Leaders who need churches, schools and gymnasiums. They all want the same thing. The advantages of owning. To build quickly and save money. Quality, backed by our 50-year structural warranty. And they all want to work with a name they know. General Steel. Call us today for the building you need. And save as much as half the cost and time of conventional construction. I'm Jim DiLorenzo, and this is RVN-TV's press conference. Our guest today is Andy Talley, the head coach emeritus at Villanova University for football and the founder of the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. When we took our break, we were talking about Matt Caesar, the San Diego Padres uh, outfielder who uh, was a world, on the World Championship Chicago Cubs team, right. but was a bone marrow, bone marrow <coughs> donor uh, a few years back. How did, what did, happened when he finally met the young girl in Russia? Uh, what was that situation like? Well, they tried to uh, meet personally, and ESPN jumped in and tried to get that done. Uh, but the war was going on in that part of Russia, and it just wasn't feasible. So they actually met uh, Skyping, and uh, on the 20 or 30 for 30 uh, deal that they did with ESPN, they uh, showed him Skyping with her, uh, which, which was wonderful. The first time, she couldn't speak English. And so uh, they were going back and forth, and um, she, was, she had a couple words that she could say, and she threw him a big kiss. And it was very, very heartwarming and really, really neat to see. The second time they went back and did the follow-up, she was like, 10 or 11 years old, and she sp spoke fluent English. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was really something to watch. And uh, they had developed a nice bond, uh, and the family had moved to Israel, uh, where it was a lot safer, and that's where she had the bone marrow uh, transplant. Uh, but she was given a less than 5% chance to live she was really that far off because in Russia proper, they told her, we don't do bone marrow uh, transplants, have another child, this, this girl's gonna pass. So the family went to uh, Israel, found Matt Caesar, and uh, what, a, what a great, great story. Well, that, and it's a heartwarming story, as you said, but it's also heart-wrenching in a way because here's this young life that was going to be taken and some of the bar conversations in the past has, have been about that life-changing impact you can make 
through registering for the bone marrow program. What are some of the impacts besides that story? What are some of the things that you've seen that have impacted the growth of the foundation and, and, and your ability to deliver that message to more and more people, getting more people to register? Well, that's a great question, and I think that that comes through the strength of college football and college athletics in general. As all of the head football coaches that have been involved with me that had a donor from their team. For instance, at Villanova, we have 31 players that have donated during my time there. Oh. Yale has over 60, Yale University does. So every time one of those kids donate, there's a story. Who did they save? Uh, and, and the stories are incredible. A mom, a dad, uh, a little child, a baby, uh, and, and the beat goes on. So when you learn of the donor uh, and you learn of the recipient, and then at our bash every year, we have this big fundraiser at, uh, at one of the country clubs locally uh, as a fundraiser for us. We bring a donor and a recipient, and they meet there for the first time. Talk about heartwarming and tearjerker. Uh, it's incredible, and of course, we pass the basket right afterwards because sure. we're uh, fundraising for, for the foundation. Um, what could be better than saving a life? Can you imagine if you were a lifesaver, if you had the ability to donate your marrow and save somebody's little child who they never would ever see again, and this little child goes on and lives a great life? Being around something like that for me is topping anything I ever did as a football coach. Uh, winning a national championship is the epitome, but watching one of the people that you had something to do with save a little baby, doesn't get any better than that, Jimmy. Wow. Yeah. Uh, your passion for it really does come through when, when I've seen you speak about this, when I've, when I've had conversations with you about this. Are there other people that you work with that share that passion and that uh, help bring that message home? Or how do you spread the word about the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation? Well, we, ha we have a tremendous executive director in Krista Ross, and she's the mother of four children, uh, lives down the street from me, and she's the, the young woman who decided to get involved with our foundation and really get after it. Uh, and she has this tremendous passion, has been on the ground floor uh, since the inception of uh, the foundation. Uh, and we have been able to meet and greet new people every year uh, that have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, Chad Velotti, uh, who is a local South Jersey businessman um, who owns uh, Lissio's Bakery, uh, is one of my great supporters. And Mr. Velotti has given a lot of his time uh, and his finances to help our foundation because it's a 5013C, so you're always raising money. You're always asking people for money. And you know what? I don't have a problem with asking people for money, not when I'm saving a life. Right. I mean, all of our money goes into um, or back to be the match or helps to keep our foundation running so we can do these bone marrow drives across the country. Last year, we did 120 marrow drives throughout the country at all of the various colleges uh, that work with me. And just recently, we were able to land Baylor University, Michigan State, Northwestern, Mississippi State, uh, along with Temple, who's a local big-time college football program, and they've been very, very good to us as well. So uh, we're, we're, we're very excited about spreading uh, the bone marrow good word. Now, you mentioned some of the schools that are involved. Uh, right now, we're in the heart of the college football season. When do the drives take place on Th campus? That's a great question. 99% uh, of our drives are in the spring, and it's easier to do it around spring practice because the coaches usually practice three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So there's a day off where they can actually do it, and the players aren't as pressed as they are during the season. So they can get into the campus community, encourage people to come to the day of their drive, and really be salespeople for what has to be done. So springtime is when we really get after it. 
Well, thank you, Coach. We'll be back in a few minutes after these messages. Hi, I'm Christine Patton, the Juice Girl. The Champion Juicer has been my juicer of choice for years. Whether I'm making a glass of juice or a large batch of juice for my juice bar, these juicers are simple to use and so easy to clean. Champion Juicers are masticating, cold-pressed juicers. Two models are available, the Classic 2000 and the New Elite 4000. Besides juicing, both models can make frozen fruit, smoothies, nut butters, sauces, and even baby food. The Elite 4000 Champion Juicer also excels at juicing greens and wheatgrass. These juicers deserve to be called the world's finest. For more information, please visit my website at juicegirlpharmacy.com or championjuicer.com. Hi guys, my name is Kelly Lyons and I'm the director of the Garden State Discovery Museum and Paws Discovery Farm and we are bringing a brand new show to rbntv.tv called Kids TV Live. It will be all kids all the time. Toy trends, fun things to do, places to explore, crafts, things you can do at home with your parents. Right after school, 4 p.m. on Thursdays on rbntv.tv. We'll see you then. When did you see the sign? When I needed to jumpstart sales. Build attendance for an event. Help people find their way. Fast Signs designed new directional signage. And got them back on track. Get started at fastsigns.com. Joined today by Villanova football coach emeritus Andy Talley, the founder of the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. Coach, we were talking about that feeling of saving a life. Uh, get in the game, save a life, be the match. Talking about how a prospective donor goes through the process uh, with registering for the Be the Match Foundation database. Well, it's really a pretty easy process. Uh, if someone would want to be a potential bone marrow donor, uh, they can uh, contact Be The Match in Minneapolis. They have a very easy uh, website to get on. Uh, they will send that individual a kit. Uh, and, and essentially in the kit, uh, there are two swabs, cotton swabs, which you run over your tongue and then put on a slide package it up and send it back to be the match. You're now on the donor list. You may never be called, uh, but uh, you potentially could be called. Uh, the best donorship has been in that younger group from mm -hmm. 18 to 24, but the age limit is 18 to 45. And that's where they feel they can get the best marrow. So again, um, you can write away for it. Uh, you, you, can, you, can, you can get the website uh, at Be The Match, www.bonemarrow.com. Um, you know, very simple, very easy. Uh, and, and then, of course, there are drives at Villanova every year, and we have a drive in the spring where they could attend a drive at Villanova and do the cheek swab there and uh, be on a donor uh, list as well. Now, are there other, obviously, there are other ways, if you're not necessarily in that demographic, or if you uh, don't feel that you're up to the challenge of actually being a donor, bone marrow donor, there are other ways to support the cause, such as uh, making a financial donation. And the donations that you receive at the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation, they go towards offsetting some of the costs of the kits, is that correct? Yes, and that's a great question. Uh, for someone to uh, get on the donor list, it costs $100 to sign them up. So at all of our drives, uh, you, you know, last year we did 18,000 people, uh, you're talking about a million and a half dollars. So um, Be The Match provides that. And, and it's an opportunity for someone if they wanted to donate uh, to Be The Match or the Andy Talley uh, Bone Marrow Foundation, 
um, we're, we're very easy to get to, www.tallybonemarrow.org, uh, and they could contribute to us. And we, we get, you know, donations of 50, 100, 500, 1,000, sometimes bigger than that. And that all helps in keeping uh, together what we do on a daily basis. I mean, we have essentially Krista Ross, who is the executive director of myself, and I work for nothing, I don't take a salary. Uh, and then we have three women that are part-time uh, that come in and help us, and it's just, it's a tiger by the tail. I mean, we, we have so much going on, 120 drives. Um, we travel to college football games. Uh, we're gonna go to the Mississippi uh, game, uh, Mississippi State uh, La Tech game in, in, in next weekend, and then we're going to the UCLA, um, Colorado game. Wow. They're both be the match football games where we'll push what we do and try and encourage people to get involved with us. And if you're local or you're watching this show right now and you'd like to get more involved with the Andy Tally Bone Marrow Foundation, Coach just mentioned tallybonemarrow.org. Uh, coming up on October 15th, Coach Tally and the team at the foundation are having their fifth annual Drive for Life Golf Classic at the Concord Country Club in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And are there other ways that we should get in touch with you, Andy, to uh, learn more about the foundation? Oh yeah, absolutely, Jim. Uh, Andy Talley, it would be www, well, it's probably andy.talley at villanova.edu. So I still have my Villanova address, andy.talley at Villanova. Dot edu and I'll respond personally to anybody that contacts me. My cell number is 610-547-8136. 610-547-8136. That's my personal line. I'm personally involved, committed. Call me directly, email me directly, and uh, we, we, we would help, and hopefully you might wanna help us in any way you could. I encourage you to take a look at that, and I also encourage you to get involved in any way you can. This is a wonderful foundation that Coach Talley has created and has organized. Uh, if you would like to get in touch with me to learn more about my guest today or my upcoming guests, or if you have a public relations question that you would love to ask, I can be found on Twitter at JHD16. My email is jim at jhdenterprises.com. And my phone number is 215-266-5943. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Coach Talley, for your time. My pleasure. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon.